Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're excited to share an amazing trading strategy that's both simple and highly effective. Whether you're trading Forex, cryptocurrencies, or stocks, this strategy is versatile and can be applied across various time frames, especially the one minute and five minute charts. We'll be using the Heiken Ashi Moving Average and the RSI Indicator to guide you through a step-by-step -step process that will enhance your trading skills and boost your profitability. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our latest videos. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's dive into this powerful strategy together. Now let's add the indicators to our chart. Head over to the TradingView website, and from the Indicators tab, search for NSDT HAMA candles and add it to your chart. As you can see, this indicator functions as a moving average. It is capable of identifying the start and end of a trend. Heiken Ashi moving average candles are created using different moving average lengths for the open, high, low, and close prices. These values are then processed through the Heiken Ashi candle formula to generate a new type of hybrid candle on the chart. Now, let's adjust the indicator settings to enhance its performance. Go to the indicator settings and from the input tab, change the length open to 20. Next, set the length close to 15 and adjust the Ma line length to 20. Finally, change the type of moving average to SEMA. Now go to the style section and adjust the settings according to your preferences. Here are the settings I prefer, which you can use as a reference or customize to suit your own style. These settings work well across all time frames. As you can see, the performance of this indicator on the gold chart is impressive, and it can help you identify numerous trading opportunities. To find the best entry and exit points, I use the RSI indicator, but I prefer using the optimized version of it. To do this, go to the indicator section again, search for ultimate RSI, and add it to your chart. This indicator can identify overbought and oversold areas and help us make decisions about entering and exiting positions. To set it up, go into the indicator settings. The default input settings are excellent, providing strong performance across all markets and timeframes, so I won't change them. You can customize the style settings according to your preferences. For a buy position, the lines of this indicator should be in the oversold region, while for a sell position, they should be in the overbought region. We'll discuss this in more detail shortly. If you found this video helpful so far, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. If you're looking for a reliable and reputable broker with a proven track record, Hankatrade is your best choice. This broker has been active in the financial markets for many years. Let's take a look at the Hankatrade online platform. This platform will astonish you. You have access to a wide range of indicators and all the analytical tools you need. One of the remarkable features of this platform is its amazing indicators you can add any number of indicators to your charts without any limitations. If you want to check important news and reports, you can easily access them here without having to scour other websites for market news and report release times. You can conveniently set up multiple alerts on various symbols and not worry about missing opportunities. Access to your account is easy, allowing you to manage your positions effortlessly. You can use this platform on both mobile and Windows devices. It's an amazing platform with a plethora of features and incredible tools. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Join this broker today and enjoy trading. I've provided the registration link in the description. How Hike and Ashi Moving Average Works The functioning of the Heiken Ashi Moving Average HAMA indicator can be divided into three key components, which we will explore together one. Heiken Ashi candlesticks, unlike traditional candlesticks, Heiken Ashi candlesticks use a unique formula to calculate the open, close high, and low prices of an asset. This technique smooths out market noise and provides a clearer picture of the overall trend. Two. 
Moving Average A Moving Average is a trend-following tool that smooths out price data by calculating a constantly updated average price over a specific period. This helps to highlight the general direction of the market. 3. Hama Candles The Hama indicator combines Heiken Ashi candlesticks with the moving average line, usually based on Heiken Ashi close prices. This combination is useful for identifying trends and potential trend reversals. When both the Heiken Ashi candles and the moving average are aligned, it indicates a strong trend. Divergence between the two can signal a possible trend reversal. Rules for entering a buy position To enter a buy position, start by analyzing the 15-minute time frame to identify key support zones and monitor the price action until it reaches one of these areas. Once the price is at a support zone, look for bullish candlestick patterns, such as a double bottom formation. After identifying such a pattern, wait for a yellow candlestick to close, followed by a green bullish candlestick closing above the moving average. Next, check the RSI indicator. If both the white and orange lines are in the oversold region and the white line crosses above the orange line, it indicates a good opportunity to open a buy position. Place your stop loss just below the swing low in the moving average and set your take profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 2. For additional potential gains, use a trailing stop to lock in profits as the price moves in your favor. Finally, consider exiting the trade if the price reaches resistance zones, a yellow candlestick formation occurs, or when the RSI reaches the overbought zone. Rules for entering a sell position To enter a sell position, first identify resistance areas on the 15-minute time frame. Wait for the price to reach these resistance zones, then look for bearish candlestick patterns such as a double top formation. Once a yellow candlestick closes, wait for a red bearish candlestick to close below the red moving average. Next, check the RSI indicator. If both the white and orange lines are in the overbought region and the white line crosses below the orange line, it signals a good opportunity to open a sell position. Set your stop loss above the recent swing high or above the red moving average. For take profit, Set your target with a risk-to-reward ratio of 1-2. To. to maximize potential profits, consider using a trailing stop technique. For exiting the trade, you can target support zones or exit when a yellow candlestick forms. Additionally, exiting the trade when the RSI reaches the oversold zone is another viable strategy. Let's go through two examples to ensure a clear understanding of this strategy. We're looking at the silver chart on a 5-minute time frame. The price action shows a series of lower highs and lower lows, indicating a downtrend. Additionally, the price has successfully broken out below a support zone. A yellow candlestick formed below the red moving average, followed by a bearish red candlestick closing. If we look at the RSI indicator, the lines are in the overbought zone and the white line has crossed below the orange line, confirming the bearish momentum. Given these signals, I can enter a sell position in line with the downtrend. I place my stop loss above the previous swing high and set the take profit with a risk to reward ratio of 1 2. Let's see the outcome. Let's analyze the year USD chart on a one minute time frame. As you can see, the price has reached a support zone and held above it, unable to break below. Can you spot the three bottom pattern? Yes, it's a reversal pattern indicating a potential shift from a downtrend to an uptrend. All the factors suggest a trend change a yellow candlestick has closed above the green moving average, followed by a bullish green candlestick. The RSI indicator is in the oversold region, and the white line is crossed above the orange line, signaling bullish momentum. At this point, we could enter a buy position. However, there's a significant issue the distance between the entry point and the stop loss is too large, making it impractical to enter a buy position immediately. Therefore, we need to wait for the price to pull back to the green moving average to find a more optimal entry point. Looking to the left of the chart, you can identify a resistance area that the price broke through. Let me draw this area so you can clearly see what I mean. Now we wait for the price to pull back to this area, which is now turned into a support zone. Once the price reaches this level, we can enter a buy position, placing the stop loss below the support zone. We set the take profit with a risk to reward ratio of 1 2. Let's see the outcome.
FX Smart Academy is your gateway to becoming a professional trader. Join our website and dive into our latest comprehensive training course. We start from the basics, introducing you to the fundamentals of financial markets and progress to advanced strategies that will give you an edge in trading. We support you for a full year, ensuring you gain the skills needed to trade confidently and effectively. Our course is designed for everyone, with no prerequisites, and includes all the educational materials you'll need. Plus, you'll have access to our expert trading signals and market analysis. Don't miss this opportunity to transform your future. Sign up today using the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Wishing you success.